If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, how exactly does one develop agoraphobia? Is it shyness or vulnerability? My agoraphobia came at a very difficult time in my life. To make a long story short, my best friend at work was embezzling welfare funds and she did some of her dirty work using my name slash computer slash login. She confessed and went to prison for six years. I was left behind, knowing my best friend had betrayed me. Throughout the investigation, my files were confiscated and thoroughly searched by state investigators. I literally could not work on any case. The rumors and whispers around the office were vicious, nasty, and untrue but I couldn't say a word because I was still considered a co-conspirator by police. I was absolved of any responsibility by the state, the board, and my supervisors. Fine. Then, the damage had been done. My reputation was ruined. So, I went home one afternoon, went to bed, and didn't leave my room for months. I couldn't stand the thought of people looking at me. I was convinced they knew, too. So, I stayed in the only safe place I knew, upstairs in my room. Find more answers and a free audiobook on how to talk to anyone in the description below. No useless advice like just get out there I mean actual useful advice from people who have really dealt with shyness and social anxiety and overcome it in their own lives.